Oh, I forgot to uh, inform you. Um, I said I was going to give you some uh, standard measurements uh, that equated to the millimeter measurements that they gave us. So our longest threaded rod, and this is these are going to be eight millimeter uh, in thickness, seventeen and a half inches. So two hundred and forty-five millimeters equates to seventeen and a half inches. Uh, the one two hundred and seventy-five millimeters equates to approximately ten and seven eighths inches. I think that's an air, uh, a hair long, but I'd rather be long than short. Uh, you need three. 210 millimeters, that's eight and a quarter. Now we're on to our uh, five millimeter threaded rod. Uh, 310 millimeters uh, is 12 and a quarter inches. Our smooth rod, um, let's see here, 395 millimeters equates to 15 and a half inches. Two of those. 320 millimeters equals 12 and a half inches. And then 300 and, oops, actually that's, these were the 12 and a half inch long ones. And then 365 millimeters equates to 14 and 3 eighths inches. So there you go. Uh, now you can just use a regular tape measure. Try to make them the same. Sure that that will be important. Um, the threaded rods less of an issue only because um, those go out past the length of the uh, machine. They just get capped on either side with nuts. The smooth rods I think are more of an issue, and those are the ones I'm sure we have to cut, especially considering they were uncut when I received them. Um, they have to sit within parts. Just as an example. Uh, where's one of those feet? I haven't tested this yet. This should be interesting. Um, this is one of the uh, corner frame pieces, the middle portion of the frame, not the uh, acrylic portion. So you'll have threaded rod, two pieces coming in this way, one going back. Um, they have this little notch right on the top here that, in theory, that's not too bad of a fit, actually. I'm pleasantly surprised. In theory, it'll hold on. So, uh, yeah, that 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 works out. But it 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 does have two end uh, limits, basically. You couldn't just continue extending this if it went long. So make sure you cut those uh, correctly and do be nice to your uh, to your rods. Don't don't mar them with the teeth of a vice or. A, vice grip or anything like that. Wrap them up with tape and, and, and padding. Um, it's not that hard to cut through this. If you're doing it with a hacksaw by hand, that might be a little more involved. I like to use machinery when I can. If you have an abrasion saw, awesome. I'll make short work of this, but um, you know, I got through it just fine with just a little angle grinder and uh, the rods appear to be um, perfectly smooth still, so that's, that's good. All right, now I'm going to go I think I said I was going to go shopping before. I'm either going to go shopping now or build the, what I can of the uh, X, or excuse me, the Y carriage. So I'll get back to you.